Hey guys, so we've just recently bought the Acaso EK7000 Action Cam. It's obviously been open because we've tested it out, but what we'll do is we'll show you an unboxing and then do a review of it. Yeah, so obviously, as I said, we've already opened it. Let's get it out. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I like that it comes on the stand already and it comes in the case as well, which is obviously handy for outdoor shoots. So let's just take that off. Yeah, and this is, this is also a waterproof case as well um, you can use for your water sport activities and in the box you get all these things just take them all out loads of things in the box jam, yeah, jam packed <laughs> with <laughs> definitely jam -packed. accessories um, yeah so as you can see there's a lot of mounts here different types of mounts for different things like a bike a helmet all sorts so you're pretty much like you don't really need to buy anything once you've got the camera because it pretty much comes with everything you need. It also comes with very handy um, wrist strap, which you can actually attach this remote control to your wrist. Um, so when you're you know, at a distance away from the action camera, you can actually start recording from this handy remote control. Um, or you can also take pictures as well. Um, there's two, two buttons here for pictures and recording, um, which is very, very handy. Um, and it connects to the camera via Bluetooth, I believe, which is good. It also comes with a two, two batteries actually. So the batteries um, are 1050 mAh. Um, so two very neat tiny batteries. One is already inside the camera itself. Um, and it also comes with a charging dock as well, which can charge the both batteries at the same time. Um, yeah, and obviously you don't get the power adapter because you never really do these days. Yes, exactly. Exactly, um, just a little USB cable. Um, but yeah, we can get more on battery life later on in, this one, in the review. Yep, so let's get on to the actual action camera itself. So here's the action cam itself, and obviously as you can see, it's a 4K action cam, which records at 25 frames per second. If you wanted to, you could record at 60 frames per second at 1080p, or if you wanted to record at 120 frames per second for super slow-mo, then you can record it at 720p. But we think we'll probably use the 4K at 25 or the 1080 at 60 frames per second. So, let's get into the case. As you can see, it's very easy to open up. Um, and once you get inside, it's a very sleek design on the action cam itself. Yep, so it's super tiny, as you can see, like it literally fits into the palm of my hand, super small. And, and as you can see, it comes with um, a couple of buttons on the side here. Um, these are typically used um, when you're actually in the menu um, of the action cam itself to, you know, to go to different screens and windows to adjust the settings um, of the resolution, for example. Um, as you can see, it has a little tiny LCD on the back, um, so you can actually um, change your settings and see what the camera is seeing. It's not touchscreen like a few of the top end um, cameras, but it's still pretty usable. And then on the other side, we have the connections and ports for charging, um, for inserting your SD card, um, and also um, a headphone or mic jack. Yeah, so you don't actually get the SD card with it. You have to buy that separately. So as you can see at the top, um, we have the recording button. Obviously, when you press this, this will um, activate the recording of the action cam. You can also take a photo using that button as well depending on which mode you are in. At the front is the power button. Um, this is used to switch the um, action cam on or off, which is pretty straightforward as well. Yeah, so we're just gonna turn that on now. So if I press that down. And as you can see, yeah, it boots up pretty quickly. Um, just to quickly add as well, um, a lot of the controls and the way how this action cam is, is used um, is pretty similar to the high end GoPro action cams as well. So anybody who has used those in the past won't find this difficult to use. So yes, you can shoot various different modes with this camera. Yeah, so you've got obviously the video as we mentioned earlier. You can also take still photos. You can do burst photos as well, as well as a time-lapse. And there's also a timer feature if you wanted to record yourself. But obviously you've got the watch strap as well. So you can always just use that very handy and action-packed with features. Mm -hmm. So some of the other things you can do on the actual settings is adjust the volume of the camera. So as I navigate, you can hear the beeps. 
but if you wanted you can obviously turn that beep off just like so and now you can't hear it anymore personally I prefer to have it on so let's just switch that back and you can you can also adjust the exposure here you can also set up the language and if you wanted to you could also use this action cam as a dash cam inside your car um, it's got car mode as you can see here and what you can also do is turn the video upside down. What we're going to do now is show you a comparison of the iPhone camera and the Acaso camera. Obviously the iPhone is going to be a lot better but just to show you what sort of picture quality you get with the Acaso. So let me just mount it up here and let's go. Alright so what you're seeing now is the 4K Acaso action cam and what you're seeing now is the iPhone. Obviously the iPhone is a lot better because that's just what it's made for. Indeed. Um, and I believe in low light conditions, um, the action cam doesn't perform as well, um, but which is to be expected to be fair at this price point. Yeah, exactly. And also I think action cams are made to be used outdoors. So let's take it outside. Let's go. Of course, um, the, the action cam already comes with a bundle of accessories, um, which you don't really need. But <laughs> if you want to add some additional items, um, I've also added this to my collection, which is the, the Acaxo 7-in-1 accessory kit. And the reason for this purchase um, is largely to do with two additional items. Uh, one of these items are the chest strap, strap. Um, so this you, you, you can actually obviously put this around your body and action cam will be on your chest and you can you can do you know just capture the running shots um, or capture any shots of you from a chest point of view and the second one which I purchased this, purchased this for mainly is also let's get it out of the bag is the head strap so again put this on your head and the action cam will be attached to your head and you can get the point of view from um, your eyes essentially. Perfect for when you're out on the sea jet skiing. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So that's that. Um, and it also comes, comes with a couple of other um, accessories. So this is one you can clamp it to your windscreen, for example, um, or you know, on your sunroof in your car, and you can yeah, use this as a, a kind of a dash cam. Um, a mounting point essentially so and then finally comes with a water kind of um, accessory um, not the best way to explain it but essentially you can leave your action cam in the ocean um, and this will make sure that it floats and it will capture exactly what's happening whilst you're swimming if you're a swimmer and then one more ever item let's get out of the way the gorilla pod so obviously the Acaso comes with a lot of accessories and the ones that we just showed you but what it doesn't come with is a holding mount. So if you wanted to record yourself, this is really ideal. And you can use it obviously handheld like so, or these legs are adjustable so you can wrap it around things like, you know, the edge of a chair or maybe even like a branch of a tree, pretty much anywhere. It's quite useful, um, yeah. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, this will definitely be used in some of our future videos you will definitely see. Um, I won't give too much away, but um, this may be used inside a football goal. That's all I'll say. Cool, uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you're looking for a cheap alternative to a GoPro, then we definitely think the Acaso is perfect for it. So there's a reason why um, this is one of the most popular um, cheap alternatives to a GoPro um, on Amazon or anywhere else, for example, because despite being at a low price, it comes jam-packed with mm -hmm. loads of features um, and it works it very well for what you needed to do essentially at a fraction of the cost of the GoPro. Definitely worth the money. So that's been us, you being you. <laughs> See you next time. Peace. Peace.